Hey guys, Basenji AOE. Um, I'm here to show you what to do. Let's say you just bought the game, or you're just now, you know, looking to improve and actually learn what to do. Um, I'll be playing this just with my mouse, just so you know we can go slowly and show you what to do. Um, let's get started, okay? Um, your you UI may look a bit different to mine. You may have minimap here, you may have the resources on top, but that's just because I use a mod um, to change a few things here. Um, but let's get started. I don't think this will change much for you guys. Um, so first thing to consider, we are in Dark Age, the game's just started, we want to get villagers out. Villagers um, are the base of our economy and our civilization. Um, the villagers will need houses. This may be on top of your screen, as I said, but you're gonna need houses, and able to accommodate your villagers. Okay. You wanna put your sheep under your HTC. Your sheep is your first source of food in the game, so that's what you wanna do. Your villagers, when they get created trained, they drop around here unless you put down a gather point, okay? So to do that, just click with the red button on the resource you want the villagers to go to. So this is the very basic beginning, I'm playing with the Franks, I will open up with a castle age into knights. Um, so first thing we want to do, um, we want to have six villagers on food. So we have six, good, next villager will go to wood. Keep the sheep under your HTC, your scout, you can use Resplore if if you can. If, if this is too much, you can just auto scout. Um, so the first villager that, you know, is not eating sheep, we'll go to wood and for that we're gonna build a lumber camp okay avoid these trees if you can if you can go straight to the lumber camp like I did um, do that um, oops we're gonna need more villagers so let's just keep running our to see here um, we probably and I can say this with some certainty uh, you're never um, looking to keep your TC idle you always want to have your TC producing villagers. Okay, so the scout hasn't found any extra sheep. I'm eating my last sheep here. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to lure this boar. So just keep the TC running. Villagers to wood. Four villagers on wood is good. Now I'm going to lure the boar. I took a villager from food and I'm looting the boar. Shoot it once and run back. Okay, four. I, I'll have four on wood right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I want to continue to kill boars. This guy's about to die, let's garrison. This is slightly more advanced with the boar without loom because the auto scout didn't find sheep. But it's not a problem, so continue to keep getting villagers. Oh, uh, extra sheep, good. I'll need th those. Um, I'm about to get housed, so I'm gonna get another house here. Okay. Of course you're gonna be learning which buildings are where. Um, as I said, Dark Age is very limited, because um, the villagers can only build a small number of buildings. So our main objective here is to move up to um, Feudal Age. Okay, so this one will be the mill. Ooh, my house is done. Great. Um, and now my scout is going to the corner. I don't know why. Um, a villager got stuck. Okay, we have sheep here now. Let's go eat some sheep. Brilliant. Um, Take note that I'm building a mule. Um, you don't want to have too many villagers surrounding your hunt um, because they start touching each other too much and they start um, 
dancing, I would say. <laughs> um, so now I'm luring my second boar. Mm, I hate that pathing. But I should be fine here. Now these guys will shoot this boar, this guy will run to the back and I'll garrison him if he's about to die, but he's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll finish eating my sheep here and I keep my GC running. Mm, okay, I have five, five may be too much. So let's um, head back to more sheep. Okay, this is food's not gonna last very long, so let me go for the next one. Oops, I got housed. Let's cancel this villager, let's get Loom. Two villagers will build a house here. And let's see what happens. Brilliant, more villagers. I should actually build another house already. Just because, right? Um, let's start farming around the TC. So farms, you wanna place them around the TC or around the mill, ideally you place them around the TC first because um, in case you get attacked your villagers here can protect themselves okay okay so that's enough really sh a shame that my scout's not doing his job properly I thought auto scout would would always find the sheep that I need to go up first so I'll have to send these to wood whilst I place farms. Okay, I don't want them idling around here, not working. I, I want them working. If it's n even if it's not in the um, resource that I actually need. Um, so let's get more farms. And okay, so let, now let's think about the future a bit more. Um, I'm stuck in feudal age. I already have the food collected to go to feudal, but after I get to feudal, I will actually want to go to castle age. So to go class age, I'll need to have gold. Um, so let's place the mining camp here, and let's put three villagers into the mining camp. You can become another farmer. Yeah, why not? Um, you can become a farmer as well, and so can you. Okay, I think that's enough villagers. You know, 25 villagers, that's good enough. These two guys will come to this lumber camp here. You guys will go there as well. And I'll have a 8 on wood. And I have 7 here, 3 here, and another 4 on the, um, in this case, ostriches. So this is a very basic starting um, build order. It's not perfect. Ideally, Scout would have found two sheep for me. It didn't. No problem. It's good enough. You know, good enough. You can definitely play with this. So as we are going up, we may want to get a barrack, right? Um, because first, because this is the only military building we can actually get in Dark Age but also because to click up to castle age we're gonna need another two buildings and I want one of those buildings to be a stable because I want to make knights when I get to castle age so that's my reasoning whilst I build those buildings I'll get more villagers remember the TC is always working um, there is no food anymore there so you no longer go to the food I'm getting more villagers, I need to get my buildings. So let's take a look here. We can have blacksmith or market, or we can have a stable and archer range. These are the buildings that will allow us to get to castle age. I need two of those, so one stable and perhaps one blacksmith, but I, I, I still don't have the wood for that. Um, so I'll get another villager. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant, now I'm getting close to the wood, that's it. You these two will build it, I'll send another more to gold. And look, I need 800 food, 200 gold, and two field age buildings. So two field age buildings, I already have the resources to click up, and now my stable is done, and so is my blacksmith. So brilliant, 16 minutes into the game, I'm going up to the castle age. See, I'll continue to seed farms, 
I'll need them. Um, <laughs> oh, these are idle, so let's build a house because I need houses. And these can go there. Who else is idle? This is a very interesting button. Oh, nice. That's why my wood is not very good. Oh, here's my sheep. Oh, come back. There's one more. Anyway, I'm I'm just letting the um, auto scout do its thing. It's it's not great, not great. Um, another house, and I should be ready to pump out knights. Um, so. Besides pumping out knights, I still want my economy to be smooth, right? So I'll get a couple of upgrades. The most important one is usually this double bit axe. This is really good. Um, there's an upgrade on the farms as well um, that you get in the mill. That's um, very important. It's increasing the number of the the amount of food um, on your farms. But I'm playing Franks, and Franks have got that for free. So great. Okay, um, this guy here can go to a farm as well. You know what? I'll send him to wood um, because I want to have a second TC up. So I'm going to play with two TCs. Um, but I want to get wood barrel. It's a very good upgrade to get when you reach Castle Age. So here we go. Now I can make knights. I can get an upgrade for my knights. And I'll get another upgrade for my wood. So now my uh, wood choppers will work even better. Superb. So now I have a sheep here. So my first villager will go to sheep. I've got a knight. So I'll just continue to make knights. Continue to make villagers. It's a, it's a nice start. Now I need to get a second TC up because you know it, it's where we produce villagers. Um, so there we go. Knights are being produced. My TC is working. I'm going to get housed eventually. Um, let's help there, and you can receive a farm. Um, I don't have the wood, so you go to farm. Oh, now I got the wood, so now I'm building this, and I'm continuing to get knights. Can get another three knights going. Let's kill another villager here, and a farmer. Um, another farmer. Ooh, this guy has been idle for a while. Let's build a house. A house here. You can help. Okay, I'm gonna need more farms, but I'm also gonna need more wood, more villagers on wood. There you go. There you go. Another house, so I don't get housed. You know what? This lumber camps, it's it's not working very well anymore. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get another lumber camp in another location, and I'm s I'm gonna send a few villagers there because they've been too um this number has been too busy. Okay and now the TC so in this TC I'm going to get more villagers. Oh I'm done with the sheep so let's go to the berries back and another farm. Another villager, another knight, another villager. If I can I see the farm. Oh you're done building a house. Good Let's build another house here. And you can keep an eye on here to see if any villager is idle. Another knight, another villager, another villager. Okay, so I have a good a good number of knights. Let's go take a look. You know, if I had an opponent. In this case I don't. This is just to show the build to you guys. Um and what to do with the first villagers. So this is looking good. I mean it's 24 minutes, I have 9 knights, I've got 40 villagers, you know, I have a 2 TCs, so I've got a pretty decent um, game going already. I need more on farms, these are too many on wood. Perfect. Now I can get another TC going. I'll put this to C, let me check, okay, here works fine for me. Let's get this. Oh, these are idle. 
farms and more farms and more villagers and more villagers and more knights good now this lumber camp is a mess let's set another one up I got a new sheep here so let's eat the sheep get a villager get a knight get another house and that's it this is the basics of um, a very simple game around knights this should be enough to um, handle the um, first three or four levels of difficulty when playing against the AI and it's very simple I, I did it all with the mouse very slowly um, of course I do know where things are located already I don't have to search for them for very long but um, the key thing is here is to get the idea of um, what you want to do you can also select all your TCs and, and click the villagers here notice my queue here how the game distributes the villagers nicely and evenly across the buildings okay so um, second armor upgrade and more important than the first one and more farmers whenever I can really solid gotta take a few from gold ooh my queue is empty check my queue it's empty so more villagers ooh this is a nice upgrade as well you can go there you can come here empty queue villagers ooh I'm housed house and this is how you start the game and how you get to um, a decent level I would say and there you go guys 30 minutes 60 villagers 50 nights try and do it yourselves see if this is achievable by you it shouldn't be very complicated as I said I've done it all with my mouse so it doesn't require crazy speed you know crazy um, practice to be able to get to this level okay and as I said very solid you keep getting villagers until you have like 100 120 remember you have up to 200 population if you keep building houses and um, 120 villagers and 80 army is a good mix okay um, okay this is it guys hope you enjoyed hope you learned something about how to start off um, the game here remember then you're gonna need two buildings to get up to imperial age so you may want to do I'll do a monastery and a university um, continue to get villagers no need to stop doing that oops got a wrong wrong horse there um, now getting some stone as well let's get the upgrade to that and it should be let's build with this one and I should be able to click up to imperial age as soon as the university is done there you go imperial age that's it guys for me um, 75 villagers 32 minutes knights Twenty nights now with two armor upgrades. I can obviously get the attack upgrade. I
continue to get villagers as I said to have 100, 120 you know, keep with the strategy place farms and as soon as I reach imperial age I should have more military buildings to be able to attack Hope you enjoyed guys and that's it for me, bye bye, cheers.